Good afternoon. We passed the Easter holiday about four weeks ago, a day Christians usually observe in remembrance for when the Lord Jesus rose from the dead following his crucifixion. Easter is always on a Sunday, and the Friday, Friday before it has become known as Good Friday, taken to be the actual day that Jesus was crucified for our sins. But if Jesus was crucified late Friday afternoon and rose again early Sunday morning, there's a problem with the fulfillment of Jesus' prophecy for the sign he was to give, as seen in Matthew chapter 12, verses 39 and 40, which I'll read for you here. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. There is simply no way we can squeeze the 72-hour time period of three days and three nights into the supposed Good Friday scenario, which would only be about half of that time. But it isn't possible that Jesus lied to us either, so we must search the scriptures to see what we've been missing. First of all, remember that the Jews count their days as beginning from 6 p.m., while ours start at midnight. Therefore, the weekly Jewish Sabbath on Saturday actually begins Friday evening at 6 p.m. I actually worked with a young man who observed this. When we read the accounts of Jesus' burial, we see that they wish to have him buried before the Sabbath, on which they should not work, which would begin at 6 o'clock. But if Jesus fulfilled his prophecy in Matthew 12, 40, then the scripture couldn't be referring to a typical Sabbath, could it? And we find a clue about this written in John 19, verse 31. And it reads like this, The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation, that the body should not remain on the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath was an high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken down. We see here that this particular Sabbath had come to be known as High Sabbath, and it was the day of rest the Jews were instructed to take on the day following the Passover. You can find the Bible's instruction for this in Exodus chapter 12, verses 15 and 16, Leviticus 23, verses 4 through 7, and Numbers 28, verses 16 through 18. The Passover is held every year on the 14th day of the month, Nisan, on the Hebrew calendar. And so the high Sabbath then is the 15th day of the month. And when we trace these days back in time, we find that the weekday of the Passover Jesus was crucified on was a Wednesday a day that began Tuesday at 6 p.m. and ended Wednesday at 6 p.m. And so Jesus was buried late on Wednesday, and then with Thursday, Friday, and late Saturday afternoon, we get the full three-day and three-night total that Jesus had promised. The only question that remains to be asked is, why do we observe Jesus' death on Friday if we know it happened Wednesday? The scripture really spells it out, and for all the Bible students and theologians that have been over the centuries, how could this have happened? Truthfully, I have no definite answer for this, only speculation, but I suspect that with the advent of Catholicism, it asserted itself and has just been handed down in history since then. What gives me joy is to know that Jesus fulfilled his word and that it can be plainly seen from the written word of God. And so if you've ever wondered about this issue at all, now you have some answers and you'll be able to help any others that have that same question. May God bless this message for your use, and remember that related scriptures are in the description below. Take care.